Greg Tidwell, one of the evangelists for the Church of Christ at 1130 Fishinger Road in Columbus, Ohio. Beginning in the first century, God's people have been meeting on the first day of the week, the day of Christ's resurrection, in order to worship according to the Lord's way. Central to this worship is coming together to take the bread and take the cup and to proclaim the death and resurrection of our Savior. While we are not able to come together physically just now because of the current health crisis, we are still united in our faith. The Apostle Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 10, verses 16 and 17, The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Even though the Apostle Paul was separated through geography from the church in Corinth, he was still united with them in the one faith. Jesus Christ is our basis of unity. On the Lord's Day, God's people around the world take the same bread, take the same cup, and in their faith in the same Savior, they are united. As we observe the Lord's Supper, will you join me in a word of prayer for the bread? Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus Christ and for this bread that represents his body. We thank you, Lord, that in him we can be made whole. For it is in the Savior's name we pray. Amen. The bread, of course, provides for us a remembrance of the sacrifice of Christ, and the cup does as well. For in the cup we remember the blood of Christ, and we remember that each one of us is in need of the Savior's blood, the cleansing that comes, the forgiveness of our sins. Will you join me in a prayer for this cup? Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blood of the Savior, for the sacrifice that Jesus gave for all of us. And Father, we ask that as we look to you, that we will always remember your Son and find strength in the Savior's love. For it is in his name we pray. Amen. I'm glad you were able to join us for this communion meditation, and I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you.